My hometown, Shandong province, is a major agricultural province of China. In 2015, its grain output increased to more than 47 million tons. Cotton and oil groups also had considerable production, with the grain output achieved continuous growth for 13 years. Group straw, which is often regarded as a misplaced resource, has a growing annual output. If we keep an eye on the whole of China, the data will be quite striking. More than 800 million tons of group straw has been produced every year. Although this resource can be used through many methods, a considerable amount still has been directly burnt or not fully utilized. In various ways of utilizing group straw, Energy-oriented utilization gets many attentions. Crude straw can be used as a raw material for producing cellulosic ethanol. During the conversion process from straw to ethanol, there are three important steps. Pretreatment, hydrolysis, usually enzymatic hydrolysis, and fermentation. Among them, pretreatment is a key step. My PhD research is to re review the mechanism of how does this case then influence the subsequent enzymatic hydrolysis. In my view, the step of pretreatment is like a cellular liberation movement. Before the movement, only a small amount of cellulose is free. Wall made up of lignin and hemicellulose tightly bonds the cellulose. Pretreatment means the cellulose and the cellulose can contact freely through violent revol revolution or ideological reform movement. We explored the mechanism of pretreatment through multi-scale structure and chemical characterizations on macro scale. We tested the production of sugar and byproducts, the change of components, uh, cellulose absorption capacity, and uh, enzymatic hydrolysis efficiency after pretreatment. On micro scale, we determine the change of pore volume, cellular structure, and cellular structure and composition. We used a series of characterization methods to fully characterize the effects of pretreatment to try to guide the process explore and the model building. And subsequently, Based on the mechanism, we can take full consideration of the diffusion, absorption, and the action process in the mechanical model to preferably understand the process of enzymatic hydrolysis. Thank you.